Miami Sea Aquarium has been open over 60 years now and we've been caring for animals during that entire time. And a very important component of caring for animals is the rescue, rehabilitation and release of wild animals that come into our facility in need of care. Many people ask you, well, what, it, what exactly is the three R's, as we call them, the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of animals? And, and it really varies, and it, it can vary from an individual calling us on a stranded turtle on the beach to bringing that animal in and growing it up, all the way to rescues that involve planes and trains and having to fly to other countries or states to bring animals back for their rehabilitation. Good. We have a group of individuals that are designated specifically for the rescue and rehabilitation and release of animals. Now this is an experienced team that involves animal caregivers, divers, veterinarian staff, and this staff is ready 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. We started rescuing animals before the park was open in 1955. We received a call on a baby orphan manatee up here in the Miami River that we went out and rescued and brought back. And a neat little story, this animal was named Mamie after then President Eisenhower's uh, wife. And this was really not only our first rescue, but it was really our first opportunity to really teach people about these animals. We were one of the very first facilities to breed manatees in a zoological environment. We founded the milk that's currently used worldwide for the rehabilitation of young orphan manatees that are actually lost from their mother. We traveled to the Bahamas. In the case of Ilya, we traveled to New Jersey. And uh, the water's pretty cold up there, which uh, manatees really don't like. And this was a scenario where we went up there, rescued this animal, put her on a Coast Guard 130, flew her back to Miami, where she spent about two months in rehabilitation here at Miami Aquarium and then was eventually released to Biscayne Bay right behind us. And so this was a really great story of us and our rescue team being able to go and do and really do anything we need for for these animals. We're often asked, what are these animals suffering from when they come to Miami Sea Aquarium? And when you talk about the manatees, there's really three big causes why they come into our facility. One is cold stress, two is boat strikes, and three is entanglement. And there was an animal by the name of Venus that actually came into our facility and her flipper was so entangled in fishing line that we unfortunately had amputated to save her life. But the great news is, is that after the surgery, she had a full recovery and was eventually released back into the wild. Yeah. Off the coast of California this year, we had these mass strandings of these small California sea lion pups. And we don't really know what caused it. There's some thought that maybe the food supply was low but they were actually being abandoned by their mothers. And so Sequarium actually sent a group out to California to help in the rescue and rehabilitation of some of these animals. And recently, we actually brought two animals back from California. We sent our team out there, Monterey and Berkeley, who can actually be seen over at our sea lion area right now. And these are two animals that we now have provided permanent homes for as part of the unusual mortality event. We have a very important role in the community, and, and that's not only in our rescue and rehabilitation program, but also our education and conservation program. Well, it's very important to have places like Miami Sea Aquarium. I mean, without facilities such as ours, many people would never have a chance to see a manatee or a sea turtle or a sea lion. And it's hopefully through these experiences that they learn about these animals and understand how they can help these animals in the wild. And I'm a very fortunate individual to actually have the job that I have. I mean, it's a very rewarding job when you talk about rescue, rehabilitation, and release. I mean, we actually go out and find these animals. We'll rescue them when they're in a time of need. We'll bring them back into our facility. We'll nurture them back to health. And then eventually get to release them. And I mean, it's such a gratifying feeling, not just for myself, but our entire team here. I mean, we are committed to animals. That's what we are, that's who we are, and that's what we do today and tomorrow.